morning, everyone. Welcome to Kids Half Hour. I'm Auntie Tanya, and I'm so happy to join you this Sunday morning. Let's just enjoy today, where we can celebrate Jesus. I want you to get up and praise the Lord with me. of water with me. Now when I hold it on my palm, I can balance it nicely. But what if I try to balance it on my hands? Whoa! That's what's going to happen. Have you tried balancing a book on your head? Do you want to try? Or maybe let's look at Ariandra and Ariana as they balance. A lime on a spoon, Balancing on their hands, on one leg, doing a pyramid. Oh look, they're trying to balance a book on their head. Learning to balance or having something balance isn't very easy, is it? Hi there kids. This piece of equipment is called a level. This is used by all sorts of engineers, architects, designers and mason bosses. The main function of this is to make sure that something is in balance. You would notice a little bubble here that is moving side by side. Now if the bubble is on the side here, it means that it's not in balance. This way also it means make sure it's, yeah, it says that it's not in balance. But when it is right in the middle here, it means that it is in balance. Let me explain to you how this works. I have a picture here that I want to hang extremely straight. 
So I would put the balance up here like this, and then I would hang my picture up just like this and move it around a little bit, and you would notice that it is extremely straight. Finding the right balance isn't easy, right? We use the level to help us not just to put up a picture, but to build a wall, to put up a roof. We need to always find the right balance because if we don't, it's going to collapse. In your life and my life as well, we need to learn to balance, to get it right. I don't know about you, but many times I am confused as to what I should do. Should I lie when I'm scared I will be scolded for not doing something? Should I read this book because everyone is reading it? But would it be okay? I'm angry but it's so hard to control myself and I want to yell and scream. Should I ignore that person because everyone else is ignoring her? Sometimes we don't know what to do, right? We get confused and we end up doing what everyone else is doing. But do you think that's right? Joshua 23 verse 6, Joshua tells the people of Israel, Be very strong. Be careful to obey all that is written in the book of the law of Moses, without turning aside to the right or to the left. 
God gave the people of Israel His law for them to follow. Today, we also have God's law, the Bible, and we must strive to follow what it says. The Bible is our level. The Bible tells us what pleases God and what doesn't please Him. The Bible has rules for us to follow so that we will not get into trouble. God wants us to listen to Him so that we will be okay. He doesn't want us to get into trouble or live a crooked life and get off balance and get hurt. Do you know that when the people of Israel obeyed God, God blessed them. They were fruitful and they had peace. But when they didn't obey what the law said, they got into loads of trouble. Jesus also talked about listening and obeying what he says. He likened it to building a house. Stories of the Bible, the parable of the two builders. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water. Oh, hey guys. And even raised people from the dead. Uh, Wahoo! One day, as he saw the crowds gathering, Jesus went up to the mountainside and sat down. His disciples gathered around him and he began to teach them. He asked them, why do you keep calling me Lord, Lord? when you don't do what I say. Anyone who listens to my teaching and follows it is wise. Hey, I'm gonna build here. Yeah, I'm gonna build out there. All right, suit yourself. Like a person who builds a house on solid rock. Oh, yeah. When the flood waters rise and break against that house, it stands firm because it was well built. I'll get it here. But anyone who hears my teaching and doesn't obey it is foolish. All right, hey, it's nice. Like a person who builds a house on sand. Uh oh. When the rains and floods come and the winds beat against that house, it will collapse with a mighty crash. When Jesus had finished saying these things, the crowds were amazed at his teaching. Have you ever played Jenga or tried building a house with sticks or Lego? You know how important the foundation is, right? No matter how high it gets, if the foundation isn't secure, it's going to be wobbly and will eventually fall down. Our lives are just like that. We need God to help us because God is with us and he will not leave us. No matter how hard life sometimes gets, maybe when we have to face difficult exams or our teachers are always annoyed with us or maybe we face a sickness. If we have Jesus with us, he will strengthen us. He will guide and protect us. We need Jesus to help us and he will always be there with us if we allow him to. Just like the house on the rock. You can make a house out of popsicle sticks. What do you need is popsicle sticks, a piece of paper, gum, decorations, and a piece of spray. First, you take the popsicle sticks and paper and make the popsicle sticks look like a house. Next, glue the popsicle sticks together. Trace the paper around to cut off the extra bits of paper.
Place the popsicle sticks on the paper and then cut the extra papers out. Now start decorating it. Once you've finished decorating, you can write Joshua 23, 6 inside. God loves you and he wants the best for you. If we obey his word, we let his Bible be our level, we will be able to balance ourselves and not fall. Remember, just as Joshua said, it is important to be strong, to be careful and obey all that is written in the law. If we do that too, we will be able to live a life that pleases God. Remember, the plans that God has for you are plans to prosper you, to give you hope and a future. If you let his word guide you, you will be balanced, you will be strong and you will be safe. Do you want to choose to let God hold you and let him help you? so that you can live a balanced life? Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, I thank you for this day. I thank you for every girl and boy who is listening in. Lord, I pray that we will all read your word and obey it. We will let it be the rock on which our lives are based on. Like the rock that did not fall for the storms, I pray that all our lives will be strong in you, O oh Lord. I thank you that you know us and you care for us. Lord, I pray for every family that is here today. Bless them, Lord. You know their needs. Provide for them and let them truly build their homes, their lives on you. Because we know that when our lives are on you, we are safe. We are protected. Lord, I thank you for this time. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you will do the craft and send us some pictures. We'll see you next week. Bye. upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock, and the rains came a tumbling down. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up, and the house on the rock stood firm. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. Upon the sand, and the rains came a tumbling down. The rains came down, and the floods came up. The rains came down, and the floods came up. The rains came down, and the floods came up. And the house on the sand went splat. So build your house on the Lord Jesus Christ. So build your house on the Lord Jesus Christ. So build your house on the Lord Jesus Christ. So Jesus Christ. And the blessing. Blessings come down as your prayers go up. The blessings come down as your prayers go up. The blessings come down as your prayers go up. So build your life on the Lord. Don't be a 
tested me, tells me that I'm never ever alone. I'm learning how J S U S came down to us and gave his best. Without a doubt, the best friend you'll ever know. Our God knows exactly what I need, so I remember this. Let's go when you're.